just arrived in this property now uh, i am in uh, aladdin cave and here we can um, take a, a first peek of part of collection this is a really cool collection i didn't see items here but um, yet but uh, these items are awesome should be awesome because uh, i saw pictures and it's so nice and uh, i want to show it to you and uh, i didn't open this uh, uh, this stuff these uh, cases and um, there are some essay daggers uh, in really good condition and we can see here uh, it should be deluxe um, deluxe forestry but it seems like too long but um, anyway this one is uh, forestry uh, tip also here we can see uh, several um, k98 bayonets some more uh, here and one really nice cap so this uh, collection it will be like uh, first pick and uh, i have opportunity to buy some items and um, uh, what's very important to show it to you uh, on live stream and uh, i'm really excited about it because um, we have here internet connection it's cool and um, i'm not afraid to make uh, live streams anymore because um, it was a little bit nervous for me uh, to make first live streams in english but now that's okay i guess and uh, thank you for your feedback and um, we will open all these cases uh, in live stream so it will be uh, cool i really want to see it i honestly i saw three of them and that's cool and um, all this i uh, just uh, prepared for uh, you and saved for you and uh, we will open all these bayonets also and we, we will check uh, this condition and also my friend uh, bought some stuff and um, last few weeks he bought some items uh, here and some of them is uh, really cool some of them nice and uh, also if you want i can show it to you um, because it's really interesting also for example here we ha can see hitler youth knives and um, in good in really good condition and one of them uh, has really first pattern blade uh, with rare maker mark but anyway we can uh, do it in the end and uh, here i will show you some items and um, we will open some this stuff uh, oh hello hi great Hello, how are you doing? Hello from Krasnodar. Um, so, we will open it now and uh, let's start from uh, the beginning. I prepare my iPhone mount uh, for it and I guess it will work properly, but uh -huh. we will do it right now. Here we can see one uh, NSKK dagger. This NSKK dagger um, has original paint and uh, uh, aluminum, aluminum cross guards. We can see here. And uh, let's open it. This is uh, <laughs> can you see it or not? Uh, M719 um, RZM marked and uh, 9038 uh, year of production. Uh, of this year of produce of uh, this particular particular this uh, dagger so it's uh, really nice i have to ask the price uh, for this one because uh, we didn't figure it out yet uh, but i want to wrap this deal uh, today so it's a really nice one nskk with black uh, scabbard here we can see let's start from i don't know this um i can open it oh oh and um this is a good point uh to save scabbard against uh, scratches because i guess it should be um, hanger yeah we can see here hanger um this one is nickel silver hanger with uh green patina here uh and Let's open the dagger. It looks nice. Uh, this one is uh, nickel silver uh, cross guards, nickel silver fittings on uh, uh, on scabbard and original locker here. Number ten from that collection. I don't have uh, any list, uh, but anyway, let's open it. Oh, um, this this is a nice one. We oh, 
it's uh, wrong. It's uh, <laughs> not Rome. So um, we can see here Alles für Deutschland. It's all for uh, Germany. It's an old motto of uh, SA members, SA organization. And this is, um, is it possible to, to show it? Oh, yeah, we can see it clearly. Um, this uh, Carl Schmidt and Sons. Carl Schmidt and Sons. It's a, a really rare ma maker, and you can see how it's nicely done. Yeah, that's a nice one. I saw a picture of it, and uh, this one is uh, in really good condition. I have to ask prices for all of them. But anyway, as I told, uh, we have uh, first pick here, and uh, it's a live stream, so sorry for uh, quality of um, video, but I will uh, take pictures of these items and I will show it to you in um, in Instagram in Instagram uh, Instagram slash Alex war story um, dot com here a second one also with a napkin here and let's see what's inside it's a good protection because uh, we can see this metal uh, clip could uh, make some scratches and uh, I appreciate collector to send it this way uh, here we can see very huh? yeah here we can see very black um, motor and look at the cross grain um, I can see it I hope you can you can see it also and then uh, back back side we can see We can see the stamp. It's also rare maker, and I will publish uh, all these uh, pictures of all uh, maker marks in uh, Instagram, and uh, we'll find uh, Ziggert um, rating with all these maker marks going because uh, all um, early maker marks um, has been rated, and there is a rating with uh, them from one to ten and uh, how rare is it so and i can see it's very interesting very interesting it's the only one with lacquer with a gau mark and it's nice also and scabbard scabbard is also also cool we can see lacquer we can see anodize and it's nice some scratches here but it's not a big deal and uh, also we can see tip it's a rare thing when tip uh, doesn't um, broke up <laughs> I guess I said it correct and uh, next one let's go to next one it will be this oh there are some grenades here also it's a nice collection um, next one should be uh, it's a um, middle or late or late production so it's uh, not nickel silver we can see uh, the color of um, fittings it's uh, steel with uh, nickel plating uh, it's not uh, nickel silver so and we also can see um, steel nickel plating uh, clip on the um, on the hanger and let's open it it looks good looks really good and uh, I can see any repairs here on the handle so let's open oh wow all cross grain from from here until the uh, autofocus came please yeah you can see all cross grain original uh, factory cross grain is here and the original Alice für Deutschland motor and you can see me also uh, that's <laughs> how it's shiny and this one has, oh wow M733 uh, and uh, RZM and uh, 1941 we can uh, see date here and um, wow that's cool that's nice uh, when you see the date that's every time better than um, you can see it um, because 1941 it was uh, for some um, for some factories it was the last year of 
um, producing the uh, daggers and in 1942 they completely stopped um, to do that so that's very interesting I hope uh, you have good quality picture but anyway in my Instagram I will I will show you all of them I will uh, take a picture all of these uh, daggers let's put it let's put it here and um, okay this is a grenade also interesting thing this is a uh, stick grenade m24 uh, and here uh, we can see stamps let me show you. And here we can see stamps 1940. 1940 is a year of produce uh, of a particular, uh, particular, this grenade. And um, this is a, a stamp, Waffenamt, on, uh, on the bottom. A small uh, Wehrmacht Eagle with uh, WA and number. It's like a manufacturer stamp. And here we can see, um, we can see the grenade and uh, this is interesting stuff it's very rare and uh, this one is uh, camouflaged um, sleeve um, how to say it? shrapnel sleeve I guess uh, it's uh, called called correct uh, shrapnel sleeve it's like special sleeve for to, for make uh, more shrapnel splinter um, if you if this grenade using as def defense grenade so it's very nice and uh, we can see also here original stamp with uh, with year. Uh, it's important thing and with the Waffenamt. It's important thing because uh, if you don't have uh, this stamp or it's mismatching with um, with grenade stamp, it's uh, probably um, not original. Uh, how to say it? Not 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 factory made. You know, in the, in in this um, uh, complete. But this one have matching. Uh, German is a splitter, splitter metal in German. It calls in in Russian. It's like uh, rubashka, <laughs> and um, this one is matching, so it's really cool, really cool. But probably this uh, split, uh, this shrapnel sleeve um, has been found uh, in woodwork, maybe. But anyway, it's really nice. We open it we can see more information here probably uh, my friend didn't see it so it's like for Gebrauch spring capsule ein Zeiten it's uh, for 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 use it um, use the fuse so uh, this one we can see was uh, all stamps and stuff so it's very interesting and here we can see special link let's open it also no here not everybody uh, saw this special uh, ring it's portional ring uh, porcelain ring um, and not everybody uh, saw how it works so it's it's like that for uh, for to run it for to start it you have to pull the the ring so it's uh, very interesting uh, to show I found a lot of them and uh, actually it's empty it's completely empty there is no um, explosion stuff inside so <laughs> it's it's uh, like uh, safe stuff without nothing uh, for sure because it's really light and um, if you open it and uh, try to show uh, so it's a uh, yeah it's empty it's completely empty so uh, inside it should be like a fuse and uh, for start this fuse uh, people have to uh, start this um, pull this uh, ring so it's very interesting complete with original with the original early um, stamp so that's cool and and this wow I like this stuff because uh, sometimes I can um, I, I used to find this um, stuff uh, when I dug up and probably I will show you some pictures of my young um, period <laughs> when I found uh, all this stuff. If you're interested in, let me know. Uh, so, next items. 
next items uh, inside and let's open other stuff this one uh, this one is also early one early one with gal mark with anodized cupboard with uh, nickel silver um, fittings and let's open it oh that's also really nice uh, blade with uh, cross grain from beginning to the end and uh, look at that uh, stamp this is a cobber from Zul and uh, look at that beautiful um, handle we can see it here and front side also that's wow I, I like uh, Zul uh, maker marks because their handle is really amazing and this one is near mint condition look at that it's just wow it's a wow condition uh, and the uh, next one let's see let's see next one is uh, also early one in anodized cover in lacquer uh, over the anodizing and um, we can see here Gauss temp. It's very light, very light, but it it's here, and we can see rare maker mark. It's a little bit, a little bit polished. We can see it on the screens, but um, back house is very, very rare item. So it's it's really cool uh, to to see it. And moto is still here, and that's nice. It's also nice. And uh, one more. If you like it, press your like button because most of guys who uh, are sitting in front of <laughs> their screens didn't do that because I, I see 18 uh, likes and 52, 53 um, viewers who watching this video this one is also early one uh, and we can see here uh, some lacquer on uh, mint anodized cupboard uh, on the first view uh, we can see it uh, like a little bit worn and uh, something uh, and some like uh, finishing lost but not it's uh, just a lacquer it's a um, smooth lacquer um, uh, how to say it smooth it's a lacquer <laughs> and um, it's not uh, not a big deal when it's uh, a little bit worn but we can see anodized and this anodized unworn and then touched it and uh, this is in mint condition so um, this lacquer it's like um, paper over the um, over the dagger you know so and uh, some parts is still here so uh, this one is in uh, near mint condition and uh, here we can see uh, handle and handle is also untouched without any s big scratches or or stuff like that finish yeah thank you thank you guys and um lacquer finish oh thank you thank you and um, here we can see also gau mark and let's open it oh 24 likes thank you guys <laughs> for support oh this one is really uh, black um, black motor as it was uh, after the factory when it factory made and we can see cross grain also from uh, from the beginning and until the tip oh, how can I show it believe me it is uh, so it's really untouched and uh, this one is oh this one is Ancor it's Heller and uh, this one is really nice maker mark we got out of focus uh gebruder, gebruder heller and uh, this one is really good uh, condition and i'd like uh, this maker mark because i like uh, naval items and it's kind of relations uh, relate <laughs> with um, near market yeah that's that's cool azerbaijan is here um I got a nice Quist M40 made in uh, 1942 with chin strap made in Königsberg. Um, 
in 1942 and M31 liner from 1939. Uh, it was 250 bucks. Wow, you're lucky, man. Really lucky. That's that's cheap. It's really cheap. Because uh, now uh, original chin strap costs <laughs> cost 150, and that's cool. Uh, could you explain the difference between an SKK and a say dagger is just a scabbard? scabbard. Yeah, uh, that's easy, guys. Um, different bit difference between an SKK and a say uh, is in uh, scabbard because uh, an SKK um, this organization uh, has been attend. Um, exist uh, from 1936 and in, uh, they have diff only difference between uh, in the uniform it was uh, brown uh, t-shirt and uh, black um, pants because uh, black pants it makes makes sense when you ride a motorcycle it's uh, much less uh, daughterable <laughs> um, it looks more clean if it's dirty you know <laughs> black uh, uh, black Pants. And um, they did the same with uh, their own um, edged weapon. Uh, they saved a say dagger with uh, brown grip, but uh, they um, changed the color of um, scabbard. So it's only one difference between um, an SKK and a say uh, dagger. Um, how much do a say daggers uh, go for these days? It depends, guys. If we see, oh, let me let me do this. Um, it depends because uh, a lot of uh, daggers we can see on the market, and some of daggers uh, cost approximately <laughs> about nothing if it will be uh, like cleaned, polished, uh, hardly polished, and uh, if it will be taken apart and. Uh, uh, put together from different dagger from from different daggers and um, these items cost 200 300 um, until four or five probably but if it's uh, original one in mint condition untouched never taken apart uh, with a hanger which cost um, around 150 to 250 it depends on it's is it early one or late one and condition so uh, if um, five, seven years ago, um, daggers like this uh, cost about six to eighty-five, uh, from from six hundred to eight hundred fifty. Uh, now this condition costs up to two thousand. It's um, really great investment was in that times um, when people just buy some items for. Uh, collections and uh, it was crazy price 800 for the SA dagger at that time uh, five seven years ago it was crazy prices but uh, now it's a really cheap for this stuff it's un it's impossible to find this stuff for uh, for 800 uh, in that condition in mean condition but uh, if we find in average average condition and decent it could be from six to two thousand uh, from six to uh, to ten hundred to one thousand uh, it, it will be like average condition, decent condition uh, for uh, for the beginning, uh, and um, that's it was great investment, and uh, I know why, because uh, these uh, daggers it was like uh, like a business card of um, German uh, third rate, you know, like it was a lot of them, and uh, in um, all countries. Um, in the uh, United States, in the uh, United Kingdom, in um, Australia and uh, all countries, uh, soldiers, um, how to say it correctly, for example, uh, all guys uh, wants to brought it back and uh, all Soviet veterans, all these, uh, also wants to brought it back to the Soviet Union and a lot of them was in the families and until our days and um, sometimes it was uh, in 18s or 70s um, 70s or 80s um, in families and then lost and sometimes um, I have customers who uh, tell me Alex could you find for me uh, a say dagger 
uh, like that uh, because I had one in family but I lost it and never um, and nobody knows uh, where is it and uh, it's very popular because uh, it's like a business card of uh, third rate Peru at that time because um, everybody knows that uh, this one is German one probably you know <laughs> I tried to explain it um, I hope you understand what I uh, said and um, this one is uh, really popular uh, and uh, that because um, and that's why uh, people want to buy it more and more and uh, people um, can not be collector of German uh, daggers but uh, anyway he wants to one of them and if we have 200 people uh, who wants to buy one dagger we losing 200 uh, items from the market that's why um, prices uh, go up and um, now we have more interesting f more interest uh, for uh, these daggers because uh, there are a lot of books and a lot of information about it and um, people it, it became more popular more popular um, and uh, through and in uh, young people community also uh, to buy all these uh, war souvenirs and uh, most people just starting from um, K98 but eight nine K98 bayonets and SA daggers that's why prices are grow up uh, crazy and uh, they never go down uh, because not a lot of items in that condition because um, items because collectors who collect all this stuff uh, selling it now from huge collections and uh, it goes to different people as i mentioned it's like 200 people who wants to buy just one one uh, item and all this item disappear from the market and uh, never go back because uh, if you have huge collection you um, worry about uh, this value and uh, you want to sell it if you stop collect but if you have only one item you can uh, put it on a woodwork and uh, your family can forget about it and uh, most of these items never go back to the market i hope i explain it uh, understandable <laughs> sorry let's go uh, with uh, let's go with uh, our like kind of unpacking i shown difference between SA and an SKK dagger and this one. This one is uh, not SA dagger. We can see here um, forestry dagger. It, uh, this is a deluxe forestry because of uh, this special tip, special type of uh, tip of scabbard and this is yellow. Uh, let's open. Yellow means uh, like gilded. Wow. We can see here um, a deluxe hunting dagger in uh, really nice condition and uh, this is a uh, icon made i currently have 46 helmets i've been collecting since uh, 2017 wow great job for five years uh, 70 helmet it's that's really cool and um here we can see um, really nicely done with burnishing uh, on the look at that with burnishing on the oak leaves Yeah, this one is really cool. And um, Portepi uh, tassel is still here. And, like, let's see the blade. It's uh, very important uh, to see this um, squirrel, uh, this maker mark. Look at that. Um, mm -hmm. This maker mark is uh, stamped and uh, we can see it clearly and it's very important um, it should be stamped and uh, should be this way and um, etching also have to be this way it's upside down now yeah look at that i will also take pictures of uh, this item and uh, this is uh, this one is expensive one yeah that's cool and uh, also definitely it's original one this one is ivory handle is ivory yeah that's cool uh, next one next one will be in this it should be SA 
uh, Ernst Buck and Son, Sons, but I guess <laughs> it's the, um, this is an SKK. We, now we know about it. Uh, this is an SKK with uh, black uh, scabbard. Are you going to the Wilmington show next month? Yes, definitely. I'm going to the Wilmington show, Ohio, and uh, this is a really nice show. That, this is a really nice show. Over mass, uh, promoted, I guess. And, um, oh, this is a uh, Witterman. 1939 dated and let me oh yeah this much better yeah we can, we can see here cross grain and nice um, uh, maker mark and cross grain original cross grain from the beginning to the tip how called uh, this uh, part of a scabbard for casa or Rikasa, it's like a um, part with, uh, with a more huge hair. How to, how to call this part? Please help me. And um, this is a motor and also in really good condition and in really good condition um, handle. So it's like a short inspection of items um, I'm doing here. Um, I'm telling it for guys who just uh, joined us. Um, this collection came directly for me um, to the Aladdin cave and uh, I can uh, see all these items first time and uh, I just um, studying it uh, I have to expertise it uh, before I can show it to you and uh, this is a short expertise uh, in on live stream and um, this is really interesting uh, item because uh, this uh, NSKK um, hangers are rare uh, because exactly the same sc hangers you can use with um, SS daggers. So, because this is a black black leather. But let me let me see one thing. Oh yeah, interesting. Uh, here we can see. Um, rivet like black one and uh, if this ri rivet is brown it's definitely an SKK one if this rivet, rivet is black yeah, you can use it for both for SA and for NS uh, for SS and for NSKK uh, daggers sorry and sometimes there are, there are stems but I can see any stems inside anyway this is a uh, really nice um, hanger also I'm looking for a say with blonde grips and daggers from Zul uh, there is one from Zul um, with nice grip and uh, we can see also this one is uh, not late period so we can see here nickel silver uh, nickel silver eagle so it's very valuable also item and look next one this this one is early one early one with anodized scabbard with a I guess it's small repair here of the tip of blade mm -hmm. oh, you can see it and uh, you can you can't tell about it if you just see pictures like that from from this distance, uh, but if you see it on, on your hands or if you have um, good expert, you can tell you about it. Uh, small dot here. Mm -hmm. There is no chips. A bit worn, but anyway, it's um, original anodized nickel silver uh, fittings. Um, here also all parts are nickel silver and if it has been taken apart uh, it was <laughs> not last few years because um, yeah, there is no fresh uh, traces oh that's nice it's nice it's like Malsch um, and Dambro Steinbach this is a good condition 
good condition without um, any hard uh, defects. But anyway, we can see how, how shiny is it. Yeah, and um, some like black, um, black lacquer, how to say it, or blue in, inside, uh, inside of the group. It has been polished a little bit, maybe. I have to see it, I have to double check it uh, closer. So, and the, this one is original, cool one, and uh, not, it's, it's a scarce maker mark. Uh, not rare, but scarce. Um, here, one more, uh, one more piece, and uh, this one is uh, fully nickel silver. Um, this um, hanger is wrong way, it should be uh, another way it made in uh, 1940. We can see RZM, RZM stamps here with the year 1940, uh, but it should be open and uh, turn uh, another side. And also, anodize is original lacquer, small uh, bit here, S small hit here on the ball. And this one is Asa. Asa Schuttle Gopher and uh, in really good condition. Yeah, in really good condition with original, with original cross grain from Ricasa to the tip of blade and um, with a good um, with a good motor and look at that how to yeah can you can you see it yeah asa uh, this is a make a maker mark so it's really really nice also next one oh not to say. Uh, this is a government official. We can um, compare it with uh, diplomatic. Sometimes uh, people uh, mix it. And uh, this is a government official uh, because the head on eagle and head on the uh, upper eagle are the same. And uh, the same uh, way looking, you know. And if we see the diplomatic, uh, this head should be turned uh, to the right. And this one, made by uh, Carl Eichhorn, um, which is good, in good condition uh, blade, and it looks nice. Yeah. Next one is, is the last one. And we can see here. Oh, wow, nice grip. Look at that. And um, this is Rob Girsch Zollingen with a, a Gau stamp. And look at that. Yeah. It's also original. It's really nicely done. Really nicely done. And yeah, it's a near mint condition probably mint uh, and also we can see here how it done because uh, if it's polished a little bit uh, you can see a small circling uh, these angles in a um, motor because uh, this is a acid etched motor and uh, it should be sharp this uh, borders of uh, letters should be sharp so if somebody um, polished it, um, these angles of letter, borders of letter, not so sharp uh, as it should be. So uh, we can see it here. Uh, is that um, I guess I understood your um, your question about what type of uh, wood. Uh, this grip made, but um, they use different types of wood, and uh, sometimes, um, uh, like a trees gardens, um, not far from uh, uh, fabrics, uh, ordered uh, sell to the fabrics uh, wood from their garden. It's like uh, apple or stuff like that, and um, sometimes we can see different uh, handles 
for the assay daggers. And uh, uh, they uh, mostly used, uh, uh, sometimes they used um, local wood. That's why in Zul uh, we can see the same type of uh, wood, for example. So, and this wood is really nice. And also uh, nickel silver um, fittings, and that's cool. So, we finished unpacking this items and grenade and let me put it together on this display and this display is really nice and here we can see also <laughs> here we can see also um, Luftwaffe sword it's Luftwaffe sword uh, nickel silver um, that's rare and uh, with original hanger and uh, this really interesting part of uh, this sword because some of them uh, lose this handle and if you lost it once you can't uh, took it back because it's stitched um, and uh, this one is a Hurster one don't know what I like more, mint early or uh, mint late daggers. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they are different. And when I can't uh, make decision, I just buy both. <laughs> and uh, uh, here we can see... Um, here we can see Hurster with uh, Luftwaffe proof mark. Uh, five numbered. And uh, all correct with it. So this one is also... Uh, also nice with original leather uh, and this is a uh, really important also so uh, if you see uh, if you're looking for items like that uh, you have to pay attention on um, originality of leather uh, and uh, color uh, because this is a honest uh, condition with uh, some type of worn on uh, handle but uh, sometimes people uh, uh, paint it uh, people paint uh, the handles and uh, it's not good for me it's much better to uh, receive item in this condition than uh, receive item in uh, after painting because uh, if you receive it in this condition you can uh, make your own decision paint it or not if you if somebody else uh, painted probably for him it this work was uh, nicely done but for you is m not enough nice you know <laughs> Yeah, what I mean. So, for me, it's much better to receive it with uh, this type of uh, worn than uh, restored. Uh, this one is also original. This loop sometimes it's missing also, and you also have to pay attention and uh, on originality of this item. Is it correct to say pay attention on originality? And uh, also we have to check all. Oh, it's hard to hard to show to, on all uh, screws uh, before we buy something all four screws is here never been uh, opened it's also uh, not a defect if it uh, has been opened and uh, but this is a red flag why uh, if uh, it has been opened probably uh, somebody just uh, screw it nicely <laughs> screw it more uh, because sometimes it's unscrew but uh, maybe somebody uh, tried to play with leather and uh, uh, change it or restore so here we can see everything is everything is good only like this type so gi um, gi brought it back some somewhere from germany uh, probably from airfield or uh, Scheide is scabbard, yeah, uh, probably from airfield or air base, base and that's interesting. Um, some more items, I let's park it here. Cabin crew, Old Orson Park. Um, here we can see a few uh, bayonets, few bayonets K98, and um, this is also interesting collection. I will um, see it. Um, I will see it uh, closer, but I just want to show you some of them because, uh, for example, this one in really mint condition, in amazing condition. Let's let me 
show it to you. Uh, we can see here uh, original maker mark RBN. It's a, like RB number um, stamp. And this is like a code of uh, what year of produce and who was produced. The um, Excel sheets with uh, producer and uh, like it's a information uh, you can find on the internet. And uh, oh, by the way, you already in internet. And um, 51 19 and here we can see also also 59 19 so uh, numbers are uh, the same it's uh, 1943 ASW and uh, here we can see really nice condition look at that couple proof marks here one proof mark here and original um, original blue in here and also here so uh, this one is really nice and um, is that for K98? Yes Is this one is for um, uh, K98 bayonet, it's like a business card of German soldiers of that period uh, Hi from Lithuania, hey and uh, one more I interesting item I want to show you. Um, oh, for example, this one. Some more interesting items I want to. I want to show you. This one is also much a number three four one seven, and um, this is a trace of old German oral order uh, to change um, color of uh, field equipment from brown to black so every soldier uh, who worn um, brown leather in army uh, he had to this color he had to change it to uh, black one that is why uh, some uh, hangers um, have the brown uh, backside and this one is correct for th uh, 1939 we can see here aluminum um, aluminum rivets on the um, on the um, hanger, so it's really nice. And look at that! Oh wow! Oh, this is also very nice inside. And we can see here small trays. That's also important. Uh, I think we can see here a little bit um, small dot uh, on the blue in. Uh, that is because here inside this cupboard, here uh, we can see. You can see it. We can see rivet, and uh, this rivet, um, during the wearing, uh, make this um, this small white dot. Uh, and uh, sometimes we can see trace of this dot, and uh, it's covered by blue in. So we can tell that uh, it's reblued uh, item if uh, uh, this trace mm, under the blue in. You know what I mean? So it's like small small tip about it and uh, this is interesting um, interesting hanger uh, because we can see here um, 1936 dated uh, made in Berlin and um, we can see 1937 dated um, 1937 dated uh, unit mark but here there's a light very light um, uh, stem this one it's a LBA stem LBA it's uh, Luftwaffe stems and we can see Luftwaffe brown leather and um, LBA stem on this cupboard uh, and this um, hanger and um, it means uh, this one made special for um, Luftwaffe and by the way in um, German paratrooper positions uh, in Leningrad area, for example, most uh, leather items uh, that has been found in clue in blue in blue clay in clay um, was uh, used to be maker marked um, by LBA marked by LBA uh, stamps. So that is uh, also interesting stuff, and we can see here company company name, but. Uh, 
anyway, if you're interested in, just uh, text a comment under this video and I will uh, take a picture and publish it in Instagram, Instagram slash AlexWarStory. Uh, dot com. So it's my Instagram. Please subscribe. So here we can see. Let me close it. Uh, here we can see some items I just opened uh, with you, and it was like a quick expertise of um, this stuff. And uh, for guys who just joined us, um, we are in. Aladdin cave and uh, I received here um, directly part of collection and um, amazing daggers and some of them um, I would like to buy some of them um, guys ask me every time about uh, say daggers and about K98 daggers uh, bayonets and uh, I want to show pictures also because it's very popular stuff and uh, here we can see if you want I can I can show you more on uh, or answer for uh, some questions uh, walking out blades probably loot from owner's home uh, real nice Zeitengivia yeah, yeah. Uh, bayonets are really cool and this one is for for police one and uh, this one is interesting it's a uh, visor cap for uh, here officer for army officer oh wow 51 minutes live stream and uh, Probably it's too long. Um, this is an interesting hanger for DRK. And um, interesting part, it's uh, this one is dated uh, 1937. So that's uh, quite rare because most of them uh, have no uh, stems on the leather. Also, we can see here um, belt. This is a special belt for... Uh, for Navy officers and um, this is a uh, rings uh, which made for um, naval officers hangers clips so it's also uh, interesting to show and interesting to see and uh, some more items uh, my friend found uh, last few weeks and uh, he put it here I will uh, see something from uh, this table probably I will buy it um, probably I will buy something from here and let's this one is Hitler youth knife uh, late production with uh, with a pot metal rivets we can see this um, oh yeah that's it dated 1941. 1941 90 yeah 1941 uh it dated so it's uh late date late uh rivets so it's double proofed late um item but it's very interesting and uh, it's in original paint um there are four types of hitler use uh daggers early one uh, late one and two <laughs> like two middles uh, for example this one oh i can explain it it's easy this one is I don't like when items touch <laughs> each other so let's do it quick and then finish our uh, live stream mm -hmm. this one should be early one yeah so this one is early one uh, early one with a blue tuned area it's like a blood and honor um, this is a motto of uh, hitler youth and um, we can see this one is uh, first pattern with uh, maker mark with uh, maker mark with logo and which is uh, rare particular particular this one and um, also we can't see this uh, ricasso so you if you don't see this ricasso it should be with uh, with this uh, type of logo without rzm mark and with uh, the uh, motor so this is a first pattern uh, second and third pattern is uh, like this one we can see transitional one it's also have um blut und ere um motor hitler youth motor uh, but it have two um stamps one stamps one stamp is um, 
RZM and second one is uh, Maker Mark stamp. Uh, for example, this one is Schaff uh, Zollingen and RZM of this uh, Maker Mark. Uh, then it goes uh, without motor, but also transitional one. It's like a third pattern in in on uh, my. Um, rating and uh, last fourth button is a late one uh, without motor and without and with RZM stamp um, you know what I mean so uh, first one um, without Ricasa and with motor second one uh, with Ricasa but with motor uh, fourth one uh, with uh, two maker marks with RZM and with uh, logo and without the motor and force one with um, just with RZM. So uh, I it's like a time frame one by one. Uh, it was some more combinations you can find it in uh, market, but anyway, it's like a uh, most most um, simple uh, for showing. So some more. Uh, awards here we can see and also I will uh, check this item for example uh, my friend asked me uh, to find for him nice uh, nice um, tank beige and we can see here both one uh, tank beige and one for uh, like armored vehicles um, this is a RAD RAD uh, medals uh, one silver wounded beige, uh, wound beige, badge, or badge, badges, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, naval, uh, naval officer dagger, early one, uh, early one with a button uh, in the middle of cross guard. And uh, you can't um, lost it if you take <laughs> out uh, the handle because uh, in a Late ones, um, the button, um, you can lost it if you open it and if you have no, not enough experience. experience. And um, it should be uh, replacement, uh, replacement um, eagle, uh, because in that time it has been produced. Um, there was no eagle on the top, it was uh, just um, ball, fireball. And uh, after the special order they replace it so it should be a replacement eagle on the top and uh, really nicely done hammered um, scabbard also still here um, some more field gear we can see here and uh, i will see uh, i will go through all this stuff and uh, we'll try to find something um, nice oh by the way this one is also a very interesting item uh, you can't uh, find a lot of them because uh, f for me it's uh, most interesting pattern of uh, railway protection dagger because we can see here there is no uh, there is no uh, scabbard throat and uh, this scabbard made um, by aluminum and um, there is no uh, copies with aluminum scabbard uh, because it's uh, too hard to make it and most copies, all copies, uh, have uh, steel scabbard with uh, with a throat, but this one, they can't, uh, they can't copy. It's too hard for them. And um, also, we can see here uh, silvering, silver uh, finishing, and uh, it's still here. So it's really nice, really nice and original dagger. Um, that's cool. That's cool one. I have to ask the price for this one also. So, this is the uh, items uh, I, I shown you, uh, 59 minutes, almost one hour uh, we spent uh, with each other. And uh, let me, let me read your messages. Uh, my friend, check, check your email. Yeah, my email is um, Alex Silchenko, I, I will, okay, Alex Silchenko at the gmail.com and I will, um, write it under the comments it will be first comment uh, under this video and uh -huh, I will check Ex excuse me uh, helm glock what is a helm what does it mean helm glock it's a weltkrieg 
Blitzkrieg is First World War. It means this one. This one is First World War. Uh, miniature of uh, Iron Cross First Class. Um, and my friend Chuck Emiller from Hitler Youth. Hitler Youth, I already uh, shown you real nice Zeitengewehr. I also shown it. Any people from me truck in Averloon in 2022? I didn't get it. Sorry, I have to Google uh, Google it. Uh, hello, I have someone only with silver shade or only with sil silver um, scabbard. Ah, it's the same one. Uh, which one is more valuable, this or aluminum fittings? Uh, if you if you asking about SA daggers, uh, more valuable with the same condition rating uh, is uh, nickel silver. Nickel silver most more popular. It's uh, more early, and uh, uh, it's really much more hard to find um, nickel silver in the mint condition because uh, late one you can. Has been exist, <laughs> existed um, in uh, shops and showrooms and stuff like that. Uh, when uh, GIs came to the Europe and uh, they could uh, take some items pick up from uh, factories or from uh, shops, but uh, early items uh, they has been um, uh, used, and uh, some of uh, them was has not been worn, uh, some of them uh, has been, but um, you can't uh, find uh, an issued one uh, in the late period of the war, so uh, that's why uh, they more valuable, they rare, more rare, uh, less amount of them has been produced and uh, they, everybody, uh, and, and they all has been issued, you know what I mean, sorry. Um, so, and uh, what is more valuable, alum aluminum or uh, nickel silver? Nickel silver. Uh, if it's uh, aluminum or uh, pot metal, uh, nickel plated, the same. I uh, don't know what I like more, mint early or mint. Yeah, no, I already answered it. Uh, maple is my favorite. Yeah, probably yes. Uh, reserves this one for me uh, <laughs> okay text me um, is that cocobolo handle i will google what is what, what does it mean which are value on government official nowadays uh, government official have different prices uh, probably in nice condition and very nice it starts from uh, it's hard to find for six or seven thousand um, it cost more uh, now up to i don't know 12 for mint or something like that. It depends uh, who uh, sell it and it depends how it, uh, it depends of condition. And any dot uh, and any rust pot uh, have, um, makes sense, you know mm, what I mean. It could be more or less. Good info, keep up the work. Thank you, thank you. Uh, my friend, check your email, I will. Uh, it was have you explained difference? Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks, bro. Welcome. Uh, how much SA daggers go for this day? I already uh, told that it starts from. Uh, it was six eight hundred for the really good condition. Now it uh, could be up to two thousand for mint condition. And uh, somebody can ask less. Somebody can some somebody can ask uh, more. It depends of who sell any who who is seller or consignment items or not and probably if uh, you live in a house for 800,000 and you drive to <laughs> to Range Rovers and somebody ask you price for your own SA dagger you want to find you don't want to sell it for 800 bucks you know uh, what I mean thanks for the life good work thank you thank you guys and uh, so in the final of this live stream i want to say you thank you very much for watching this stream thank you 
for your comments. Thank you for your feedback and uh, subscribe for my Instagram account. I will take pictures of uh, all this stuff, um, on some of this stuff, and uh, I will publish it. And um, thank you guys for feedback. Um, now I wish you good rest of your evening and uh, thank you very much for watching until the end. Thank you very much for uh, guys who watching in record um, this stream. By the way, today I published uh, another video from uh, Belgium, from my Europe trip. You can also see it. It was some uh, German items and some um, Japanese armor. Uh, and I shown the prices of uh, different sets and explain difference. It's also interesting. So uh, I'm waiting for your feedback and your uh, subscribing to my Instagram account with uh, pictures. Uh, thank you very much and see you next time, real soon. Stay in touch and uh, where is this button? Okay.